Hello, I'm Claudia Silva and I'd like to talk to you today about depression and the causes for depression. And some of the things that I'm going to talk about are in the book Learned Optimism by Dr. Martin E. Seligman. And this book is about positive psychology. And three things that he speaks in this book uh, that cause uh, depression. The first thing is that people, when something bad happens to them, they think that they are the cause. So, you know, that problems happen to every one of us, but some people, they become really uh, sad and, and sometimes they take longer to recover from problems that other people, they might get upset or sad for a while, but then they recover faster. So one of the things, and the first of them, is when we think that we are the cause or we take personally. So it doesn't mean that we don't take ownership and that we don't recognize uh, our uh, problems and, and how we have in some way caused that problem. But many people, they think that everything that happens uh, they uh, it, it's their fault they cannot see uh, the mistakes that other people make and how other people might have contributed to the problems that they are suffering so like for example I was uh, talking to someone uh, one of these days and, and this person had a problem with his uh, girlfriend and the girlfriend didn't want to uh, spend time with him anymore. He invited her to be with him during Christmas and she said no. And and, and then he said that he uh, doesn't know how to treat women. He's not good with women. So you see that he took it personally. He couldn't see uh, her own uh, problems or her responsibility. He couldn't see that, uh, like for example, if, he, if she was upset with him, she could have talked to him and opened her heart, speak about her feelings, and, and then try to solve the problem with him. But instead of that, she retaliated, saying that she doesn't want to be with him during Christmas. So you notice that he took all the uh, the weight of the blame on himself. And other thing, and the second thing is that when we take a, a problem, like something that happens and we make it pervasive, so pervasive, so we think that this problem happens in all situations across everyone so if we go back to this example that I said of this person he said well I'm not good with women so he took this relationship with this with this person with this girlfriend and he th he uh, took the conclusion that it happens with everyone with every woman so that makes him really feel hopeless so you see that causes depression when if you fail in some situation so let's say that you uh, fail in, in your job let's say that you are fired and then you think that uh, it's really hopeless trying to get another job because if you get another job you're gonna fail again you're gonna be fired again so you you're taking this situation this particular situation and getting a conclusion on this that in everything else you're gonna fail and the third cause of depression is when we think that what happened now is gonna keep on happening forever so it's better you know if we don't try anymore because it's gonna continue happening 
And so let's say that this person that told me about his girlfriend, if he thinks, well, you know, I, I don't do well with women, so I don't know how to treat women, so it's better if I don't try another relationship because it's going to happen again. So those things, as you can see, they cause depression. And the thing is, if we change that approach, so first of all, if we can see that we are not the only cause of our problems, if we can see sometimes that people might contribute in some way, or sometimes it doesn't have to do with anyone, uh, the second thing, if we don't think that what happens in one situation with some somebody that it, it's gonna uh, happen again across every every situation or everybody and also we don't think that it's gonna continue happening in the future and, and that that what makes us feel hopeless sometimes and but there's an, another thing that is very important in terms of depression and that's the main cause of depression and it's very interesting because it's not only a cause but it's also a symptom and because it's a symptom it becomes like a vicious cycle because it keeps on repeating itself the main cause for depression is being alone or uh, not wanting to be with people like isolating ourselves from people and the the fact is that when we are depressed and sometimes we don't want to be with people we want to be by ourselves so uh, there are some causes some things that cause us to to be to want to isolate ourselves maybe some uh, something that happened in our uh, childhood an attachment problem an attachment has to do with our connection to other people and if in our childhood we didn't feel connected to to people especially our caregivers maybe because of their difficulty uh, connecting to us and then we get used to be disconnected and then we don't want to be connected to people ourselves and when that happens it might cause depression so sometimes we might be workaholics we might like spend all all our time working and we don't have time for our family and then when we uh, isolate ourselves from our relationships especially with our family friends then we become depressed because our nature as human beings we need uh, people in our lives it's not because we are needy but it's a human characteristic humans human beings they uh, we are social uh, we are social animals so we really need to have a contact with other people so if our cause, if the cause is attachment problems from our childhood, it's very important to work on that. And also, another thing that might be related to our childhood is that sometimes we don't have, we, we isolate ourselves because we don't know how to get along with people. Because we might also not have, not have had like good role models in our childhood sometimes might have like abuse in our family of origin people uh, didn't know how to communicate and they were verbally abusive and then we we didn't learn how to communicate with them and then we cannot get along with people we are always having arguments and then to avoid those problems we end up becoming isolated and, and also this is why when there is like a separation, a divorce, or maybe someone <clears throat> dies and so then we, uh, we grieve 
and one of the things, one of the symptoms of grief is depression. So depression is a lot related with relationships. So it's very important that when, if something happens in our lives, if we lose a loved one, if we have a separation, that we be, that we seek support, that we, uh, uh, that we look for some way like maybe a support group or friends that that are, or a church a community that is going to help us to go through that situation and, and not have not be uh, so depressed and the last cause of depression that I want to talk about is uh, lack of activity and this is also a symptom. It's very interesting because, like people, the people with the depression, sometimes they they don't enjoy activities. They don't want to do anything. They might oversleep, and and then when they stop having activities and and, and doing things, so it impacts their self-esteem, and then they feel more depressed. So you see that being active doing something like working, uh, studying, those things help us with our self-esteem because we feel productive, we feel useful, and then it helps us to uh, overcome depression. So I hope that this will help you.